John Reynolds Jr., 1249 Hill Road in Woonsocket. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2017. This public hearing is for informational purposes about Invenergy LLC. Now aside from the newspaper articles, the radio talk shows, live presentations, closed session city council meetings, what do we really know about Invenergy? Well, let's start with their application. The application filed sometime last year was suspended 90 days due to incomplete information, i.e. not listing an identifiable water source needed to cool both generators. Could it be because Invenergy was rejected by Pasco, Harrisville, and Providence? Their 10-page report to the EFSB, the Energy Facilities Siting Board, said their plan included a 16-mile pipeline with a new pumping station to facilitate the movement of water to Burrowville. Why did that change? Just this week, we heard other innuendos on the radio, but I'm not going to go there. Now, because of this, when Socket is faced with the monumental task of financing and building a new water treatment plant whose RFP now shows double the original price tag of $80 million. But wait! There's more. Folks, this is the same Invenergy, which I just found out this week, whose failure of a wind farm in Champaign County, California, was developed by California Ridge Wind Farm, partially owned by Invenergy, which is 90% owned by Terraform Power, which is wholly owned by Sun Edison, which is now bankrupt. Yes, the same Invenergy is now listening in California's wall of shame because it owes Champaign County $480,298 in unpaid taxes. Your Honor, based on this past performance in business ethics, it's my opinion that no community in Rhode Island should ever negotiate with known tax evaders. <laughs> oh, speaking of negotiation tactics and who isn't these days, it's been said that this company offered $18 million a year for what? We still haven't had the final count on that. A starting point, no doubt, for the city council to consider and then negotiate from there. But no! This council, who has all authority given by the Home Rule Charter for negotiations and passage votes, are at the plate with two strikes and they're being thrown screwballs. It appears this administration negated the offer two weeks before the council knew about it. Kind of makes you wonder what else she hasn't told you seven. Could that money be possibly rerouted to finance other pet projects on their to-do list, like Cass Park? I don't mind having a nice park, but if we're going to be told the money's going to be for debt relief, let it be for debt relief. By the way, I'm wondering why Governor Gina Raimondo has a stake in this. <laughs> Governor Raimondo, it's between up. us. Leave it alone. My name is Roland Globe. I reside at 73 Dawn Boulevard, Woonsocket. And, and uh, I have been a lifelong uh, city resident. Um, my opinion is to the council and the mayor. Uh, council President and rest of the council is that um, there are times you know, that I know that Woonsocket in the past has struggled financially. Right now, this seems to be a great proposal, almost like a godsend to the city. But this is time now where we have just have to say, no, it's not about money. It's about air quality. It's about preservation of life and health. And um, uh, I could see if we were selling this water to other communities for their purpose of drinking water, bathing, and so on, just regular life needs. But no, we're selling water to a power plant that all they're going to give us in return is air pollution. They're going to affect wildlife all around the area. So, I, and plus, the basic thing for me is, it's time to be a good neighbor. Now, 
town of Burrowville doesn't want this power plant in their backyard. And they have every right not to, to say that. Now, if we were in their position, and when that power plant was going in our backyard, we would want them to back us up. So now it's, it's about a good neighbor policy just to say, yes, we will back you up. And we have to say no to this pollution. Enough is enough. That's all I have to say on the matter. Thank you.